right now we are officially breaking ground on our first alligator enclosure. Uh, this enclosure is going to be for ghost, uh, the hypomelanistic alligator. Uh, you can see my dad digging there, uh, digging some holes. Uh, he's doing more of the digging than I am because I actually hurt my eye a couple days ago. Uh, it's all red and nasty looking and don't really want to strain myself like that. But I will be doing a, a couple holes, don't worry. But uh, right now we're just uh, starting to build these, uh, put these poles in. And then we're going to be building panels to go to these poles. Uh, and then we got to build, we're going to build three alligator enclosures. And then we're going to build an eight foot fence around these three. So we can actually come and get, um, get the property license for the class one and two crocodile day. And then uh, we'll get the class three put on the property for the class three animals and then the venomous and so on. But I just wanted to start filming a little bit and showing you the progress that we're starting to have. But uh, pretty exciting. There's my dad hard at work. You're 64, dad, right? 65? 65. 65. And he's out here digging holes. Dad, how do you feel? <laughs> he doesn't know yet and right now he's on his one two three four five six seventh hole so ladies he's single 65 years and look at the stamina dang Woo! but all right back to seriousness but you can see all the round poles and they're going in so the pool's gonna go right in the center here it's gonna be a nice big pool in the center of these two big trees. Nice shaded area, have some sun on the outskirts, but yeah, pretty excited. That's good, right? Yep, that looks good to me. And you can see on the trailer, got roughly 40 round poles. And that should be enough to do these two, maybe three enclosures. We're separating these posts every eight feet. And that'll give us a nice uh, stability for every uh, panel we put in. All right, so all the poles are in. Uh, we're backfilling all the poles right now, getting them all leveled off and sturdy. Uh, and then we're gonna be moving on to another enclosure. We're gonna be dropping more poles. But I'm gonna show you all the poles right now. See us tamping them, but you can see all the poles are in. This one here right there this one and then the one in front of me is already leveled buried in and then uh we will be finishing all these and then moving moving the truck and building something over in this corner we've been working our butts off today uh we got done uh building uh the framing and the fencing for three of the alligator enclosures uh, behind me is going to be the new fox habitat. Uh, remember what I said, we're trying to build habitat enclosures for all of the animals, not just enclosures. There's my dad working our butts off. He's nice and red from the heat. We got a little bit of a break. You see all the clouds behind us. Uh, we just had a little bit of rain and storm come through, which was kind of nice. Uh, we actually have about five projects going on at one time, so we're just kind of going back and forth, doing what we can with the material that we have. Uh, and then uh, at the end of this week, we will be renting equipment, bobcats, excavators uh, for digging the holes for the gator pools. We're gonna be putting a pool in the fox enclosure. We're gonna be digging out the holes for the big tubs and water pools for the water turtles and the snapping turtles. So that's pretty exciting. So we got a lot going on this week and a lot that's going to be uh, happening in uh, the next weeks ahead. But I am going to keep uh, making some videos, uh, try to post on the YouTube channel. But just like I said right now, things are a little hectic and we're doing our best we can. But filming takes time and editing takes a lot of time. And right now my dad's taking out the paint gun and the big uh, tape measure because we're about to measure the perimeter fence. It has to go around the class one and two animals, which is an eight foot tall perimeter fence, which we are gonna be doing the measurements for right now.